There you are. When I was a police officer on Parkella, I'd spend weeks fighting red tape to arrest a racketeer or a slaver gang. People who were obviously guilty. I enlisted with the Empire because it gave me the power to do what was necessary. Deliver justice to the galaxy. Flying ties is more dangerous than chasing crooks. Every time I fly out of this hangar, I know it could be my last. But I come back. Time and again. I'm so tired of arguments about Imperial morality. I've heard pilots question our Empire. They wonder if our methods were right. But they always forget one thing. The simple fact is this. We have the power, so we have determined what is right. When you're out there, never forget that you get to decide who lives and who dies. You've earned that power. Let's go. The captain is waiting. We've done it. With Vanguard Squadron backed into a corner, Lyndon Javes has made his last mistake. We have confirmation that Lyndon has joined the fray. That's not all. He's leading the same rebel squadron we decimated at Moncala. This is a calculated move. Lyndon wants me to do something reckless. He thinks he knows me. But he's wrong. We're not going to take the bait. Titan Squadron will focus on our real target. The Starhawk. Admiral Sloan is counting on us. I wish I could deal with Lyndon personally. But a commander's true weapon is a squadron. Not a starfighter. Go. Complete your mission. And if you get Lyndon in your sights, strike him down once and for all. This is it, Titan Squadron. Our moment of victory is at hand. The Temperance has broken off from the Rebel fleet, but no matter. Our focus is the Starhawk. And thanks to the reinforcements from Admiral Sloan, we now have it surrounded. The Starhawk suffered catastrophic damage from our Baradium assault and has had no opportunity for repairs. If I'm correct, a careful strike to the ship's tractor beam core should turn it into a floating time bomb. Reaching the Starhawk will not be easy. The Rebels managed to call in reinforcements of their own. Anvil Squadron, to be precise. Lyndon Javes is handling Anvil Squadron's tactics personally. Anvil took heavy losses at Moncala, but they still have Starfighters and a grudge. Destroy them. They're also fielding a Nebulon B frigate. We have a raider on hand to assist you. Once you reach the Starhawk, you must breach its armor to attack the core. Scans indicate there's an undetonated Baradium missile lodged somewhere in the Starhawk's hull. Exploit that. With the hull breached, a single fighter can fly inside the Starhawk to attack its tractor beam core. We have no idea what to expect on the inside. Do what you must to start a core overload, and then escape to the Overseer while there's still time. All our work and sacrifice has led to this, Titan. Do not let Lyndon Javes stop you now. A smart person could parlay that influence. Become Admiral Sloan's aide, perhaps. Once in the heart of Imperial power, you can guide it. From there, anything's possible. Even the foundations of a new Senate. Now all we have to do is win. Oh, don't worry. I'm not losing sight of what we must do. But this is about more than ending a war. A true future for the Empire. Beyond Death Stars and Rebels.
Captain. I would be remiss if I didn't point out that our odds of success are substantially lower than usual. Are you saying Titan Squadron is no match for a broken-down rebel fleet? Oh, uh, no, not at all. Your record is very impressive. It's just that these rebels are desperate. That makes them especially dangerous. Hmm. A valid observation, LT-514. I expect you will keep it in mind. I took this posting to see how squadron tactics really work in the field, and I discovered how little I really knew. But now I have enough material to submit an entire intelligent data bank on Titan Squadron, and yourself in particular. Watching you hunt rebels has been very educational, and rather fun. Thank you. It's been an honor to observe. You've made yourself indispensable. Titan Squadron would not have been the same without you. When I called you to serve, you answered without hesitation. I won't forget it. The battle is waiting. Do not disappoint me. Anvil Squadron makes no difference. Once the Starhawk is gone, we'll be one step closer to ending this war. But the end of the war doesn't mean the end of our duty, does it? Captain Carroll may be satisfied with destroying the Starhawk, but it's only one ship. Enemies of the Empire exist all across the galaxy. I'll deal with them myself if I have to. Sounds like a good retirement to me. Let's finish this. The war goes on. Didn't stop at Endor. Won't end with a Starhawk. Whatever's destroyed rises again. I've lived it. They need soldiers, pilots. Always have. Always will. Rebels or Republic. We know our duty. Take strength in that. You fly. I'll follow. This is it then. Captain Carroll needs you in a TIE fighter, bomber, or interceptor. Your choice. <laughs> 